There is a new comet in the sky, and at the moment it is in the constellation Orso Major. See it here beside the Owl Nebula, and that was just a few days ago. The comet will continue to move across the sky, and it will appear in Perseus and Auriga. That will be in the April and then in May. That's probably best time for the southern England to observe the comet. And after that it moves toward the Auriga and then Taurus. It will be lost in the glare of the sun probably. But the comet will be also at its brightest. It will be visible to the binoculars and the naked eye. And it is expected to become as bright as the magnitude 3. By then it will be close to the sun, so hopefully we will see it before that. And it will start its outward movement out of the solar system. So the best time is the late April, early May. Of course we are seeing it with a telescope at the moment. So by all means try to observe it with your telescope. Who knows, it's already starting to disintegrate. People have reported several pieces of it behind it. So it may get even brighter than what we expected. So enjoy, observe and relax. We will keep you updated, so watch this space. Until then, keep safe. So, so far the observations are a little bit better than the prediction. It means the comet is brightening more than what we thought. This is an old sky view of the movement of the comet through the sky. You can stop the video here and study the chart.
Okay, that's a rhino gamma, the bright patch in the middle. It's a magnetic anomaly. It's interestingly symmetrical in most parts of it. But uh, there is a tail of it, like a handle of a pan, which goes upward, or a golf handle. Golf club handle. As you can see the cloud layer, thin cloud layer, passing over it makes it difficult to focus. The yeah, Rainer now is on to the right. And that coffee bean feature that has no name and I believe it's volcanic in origin. Kind of uh, fountain of lava in the passes. There are also some grab and you can see in the middle of it there is a hollow area that has two fault, parallel faults. The middle part of it has fallen and it's called graben. Interesting for geological study and structural geology. I try to focus on that feature, that on the coffee bean feature I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what is now at the center. 